Reef Dudes is sponsored by Ecotech Marine and Bulk Reef Supply. Today we're going to talk about how to maintain your Ecotech Versa. What's going on guys? Devin from Reef Dudes. So today we're talking about maintenance on the Ecotech Versa. Now I've been rocking the Versas for quite a while now. In fact, I was actually beta testing them before they were released, so it really shows I've been using them for a long, long time. Now I use them from everything from feeding my calcium reactor, feeding my calc reactor, doing auto water changes, dosing elements, all that type of stuff. So they're very, very versatile pumps. And it's really cool how you can do it from such a minute amount up to tons and tons of volume through it. Now my dosing ones, my calc ones, all those ones, the tubing seems to last ages, but the ones I use for calcium reactors tend to get worn a little quicker. Um, if you're running 50, 60 mils a minute through them 24 seven, it's a lot more wear and tear on the tubing. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to replace the tubing inside, so let's get to it. Now this is actually a very easy process. We picked up our tubing kit from Ecotech Marine, so it comes with the tubing and some grease for it. Uh, we're just going to slide down the top cover. We're going to remove the retainer ring and pop out the old tubing. You can kind of see this one's pretty old. It start, once it starts to crunch in on itself, become rigid. And I find this is more from the CO2 in the calcium reactor, and that's when you know this one's due for replacement. Now I do like to clean these as I'm replacing it, so I'm just going to grab some paper towel and I'll give it a quick wipe out. And this just helps remove any of the little worn bits out of it and cleans everything up nicely. You can see all the little bits of like roller rubber and whatnot we're cleaning off. So the new tubing, nice soft pliable is just what we like to see. Now I do like to lube it up a little bit before I install it. And I will just put a bit on my finger. Now you don't need a lot of this, this package does go a long way. So I do keep these if I'm doing like O-rings on a calcium reactor or something, this stuff work is great for that as well. So it is good to keep some on hand just for other random maintenance or seals if you need it in your tank. So put a little bit of lube on there, pop this in and just kind of slowly spin the roller with your fingers and work the tubing down. There you go. Back in business, might as well put on our new retainer ring since it came with one and slide our cover back on. Boom, just like that. About 30 seconds, it's good to go again, and we can now use it for, you know, on the calcium reactor, for in my case, it lasts about four months until I tend to change them out. Um, so super, super do easy. Now, if you're using it for dosing, I would recalibrate it at this point. Since I'm just using it for a calcium reactor, I kind of just go, you know, my elk's raising, I dose a little less. If it's dropping, I dose a little more. So I don't really worry if it's a little bit off of calibration, but it's just that easy to maintain it. As there you have it, it's just that easy to maintain the Ecotech Versus. Um, like I said before, my dosing, my calc ones, all those ones, they last ages and ages and ages. The calcium reactor one, I find these a little more maintenance on changing the tubing. And I think that's just from the CO2 and the lower pH and you know, all that stuff interacting with it. But yeah, quick and easy, 30 second fix, back in business. So if you guys enjoyed this, um, as always, if you did hit that like button, if you're new, make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video.